Hey you, so today we have the Avengers Infinity War of Iron Man and I really like the look of this. This looks absolutely stunning. So first of all, we have the lovely window display picture of Iron Man in his armor. And it's the Iron Man Mark 50 on that side. On the back, you can see all the different things. I really love the fact that you get his cannon. This is one thing that I'm really looking forward to actually looking at. And I think this is gonna be like Spider-Man. Hope it's not like Captain America. Um, on that side it just says SH Figarts, top Avengers, bottom Avengers Infinity War. So let's open this bad boy and have a look inside. So inside you get a lot and I am generally really impressed with this. Um, I really love the kind of the effects for his, uh, his feet, his blasters, you've got the different hands, you've got the actual figure itself, more here, you know, you've got a big cannon that comes out of his hand, you've got loads of stuff. I am generally very impressed with what you get. So here is Iron Man. Oh my God, this looks really impressive, I have to say. The one thing I'm not a big fan of is just the plastic all over. It feels very cheap and we'll look at that later on. So I really love the helmet. So if we put that there, I really love the way that the eyes are like kind of really stand out. Um, we have like the kind of indentations of the faceplate there. Um, and then also we have the kind of lines going down his kind of like chin. So we kind of move it to the side, we can see here that there is a lovely kind of like silver part, same thing there. And even when we come and looking at his like kind of collarbone, you can see that there is like loads of kind of like detail there, it's not just left out. Um, I really love the kind of lines that are going along his kind of armor plate on his shoulders. And I really love the fact that if you lift it up, you can see just here that there is silver all the way there and it kind of runs into the kind of like upper torso. The arms feel like they're very easy to move up. Um, I just hope they don't feel really too kind of plastic. Uh, the arc reactor kind of stands out as well and it looks absolutely cool. As we move down to the body, I really like the fact that the blue and the gold works really well with the silver. Um, they've taken their time to actually work with this, which I really, really like. I love the gauntlets that are showing the gold here and also the small parts of the silver. Even the joints, they kind of really match in really well. Um, and I'm actually kind of visually impressed again. I'm gonna say that quite a lot. I kind of like the fact that the gold works all the way down. Um, it's, it feels like it's all one piece rather than just kind of uh, like not in a way. Um, I really like the, just the way that the kind of the, the torso has more detail to it. This is the most detailed Iron Man figure I've actually seen for a long time. As we come uh, down to this part, I love the fact that all most, well, most of the Iron Man that I've known all have a kind of metal legs. I think this is just to keep it in place. I generally think it works really well with this sort of figure. Um, I really like the kind of matching like, lines down here, which again are silver, and then kind of the toes, which will be joint. You've got to see the ball joint as well, which is in the figure itself. So you can see, have a look, um, there we go. So you can see it's there. And even when we turn the actual figure on its side, oh, um, we can see that there's still a lot of like silver there. And again, the feet are actually proper metal as well, which I really like. So I love the die cast part of it. We come to the back of the actual figure. I really love this part. Now, normally, as you probably have guessed in multiple reviews, I've said, I generally hate this sort of ball joint, but I love the fact that they've kind of covered it up. It's not the same sort of like normal plastic. It actually looks fantastic. And I think it's actually metal on the sides. So inside will probably be plastic and then you've got the kind of metal part there. Again, like say with uh, Spider-Man, uh, with the Iron Spider, I really like the back of it. It reminds me definitely of Iron Man. Obviously it is Iron Man. I really love the silver part here and the red, it just looks absolutely fantastic. When we come to the back of the figure, this is just absolutely impressive. Where the joints are, where the silver and the red is and the gold, oh my God, it looks just amazing. You can take this part out here, so if you want to add a stand to him so he doesn't kind of fall over, you can do. Um, obviously if he's flying, which is really, really cool. Um, I just really love these joints. I'm guessing these will kind of pop out at some point, um, but everything kind of looks fine. Now here it looks a bit weird. So that looks kind of normal, but here it looks like it's kind of bent a little. And I don't know why. So we'll probably test it out properly. But when you looking at when you look at it, it just looks very kind of off-putting from this side, where this side looks absolutely fine. And then kind of the last part is that you see the kind of lines around the helmet. Um, and the helmet just looks absolutely fine. I, I, even when you look at the neck piece, so like you can move the neck, but if you look there, 
I love the fact that they've actually just, oh, there we go. I love the fact that they've actually put the detail in the back of the neck as well. I was gonna say net then, um, but this works really well. And I also like the fact that Iron Man can stand up properly and also have his head kind of bend down if need be. Um, it's not in focus. There we go. But yeah, even like the kind of little lines here at the back of the figure look spot on. So they t they've taken the time with Iron Man or they just know exactly what to do with them. When we're looking at the figure, let's do a stress test. Now I love the fact that this is metal. Um, I love the fact that it's on kind of a ball joint. Normally you don't actually get that with the, with fig arts. They kind of, they never really kind of tell. Like they, they don't go all the way around like that. So it's kind of really nice to actually see Tony's foot move like that. So this is what I kind of like. So oh, even if you can see it on the inside here, They've got the, the silver lines, even it carries on. So I'm actually very kind of impressed. Like you can move his legs up completely. That is awesome. Just like that. So the leg moves on the board right. Let's have a look inside. Even here, like it, it's lined there. So this is, this I, I, I would see this as like a premium figure. Um, rather than like a, a box standard, but you can move his legs around. Just be careful because I don't want to break it. Um, and obviously his... See, even like breaking here, this part kind of like feels l really loose, but you can really kind of play with the figure. Even like moving here, just underneath it, you've got the, the detail there. They could have just left that. So even like when you look at the back, you can see that there is a ball joint in there that kind of feels like they've got something different. So you can move them up and down, you can bend them around. So we're kind of going something different than the test. But like, it feels like everything seems properly done. Um, you can break them down. Um, oh, it's just awesome. So let's look at the arms. So the arms move all the way around. Feels very kind of loose on the arm joints, so we'll say that. And then move it around again. It feels like they will fall out, but I'm guessing it's just because of this piece of plastic here. And obviously we've seen the kind of a head. Does it, it won't, does it turn out? No, I'm not gonna force it, but it feels like it won't turn all the way around. And it feels like it's locked, but just that sort of look is absolutely cool. I really like that. Hopefully I can pose them again in this sort of way. Oh, it's awesome. I love this figure so much. I'm having a look at it, like the kind of accessory. I generally like this, but I think this should move about. Um, it feels like it should be moves about. Um, it just kind of feels kind of weird. Like if you were meant to try and pose it normally, like not unless it's meant to be like that sort of way, um, but it feels like you can't like turn around. I love the fact that they've started to kind of bring this sort of technology into, into it where it's easy enough to kind of pose. Now I'm guessing like you've got that there which makes things a little bit kind of easier, but the way that it kind of felt, it's like it doesn't do anything. So I'm guessing that like, you could kind of pose it. So aim it, oh wait, I don't know if this is even blurry or not. So like, that's fine, shall we say, but maybe you can just aim it like that instead. So you can pose it and it looks a little bit better now rather than what it was. Um, but that works fine. So let's try the other accessory. Adding on the kind of a blaster, um, I really love the design. This looks just stunning. It's something that I've kind of really wanted for a long time when it comes to an Iron Man figure because it just looks really cool for visual effects as well as like a blaster. Um, I have put the hand inside as you can tell. So we just open that up. There's the hand that joins to it just there. So you can see. Um, and then when you attach this back, Make sure that that kind of lines up with the part there. Because um, it took me a while, I was like, why is this just not st staying in? You know, is it not clicking in? And obviously it's the wider part at the bottom. So I really love this sort of effect. Again, we have this sort of point here, um, which makes it stand out a little bit. Um, so pop it back in. Um, <laughs> if I can get it done. Now I've attached it, so it looks like Iron Man is kind of firing it that way. Um, I thought, it, oh, I don't like the fact that it dips a lot. Um, I generally thought that you could move it around properly so this could move. Um, I don't know if it can, oh it does. So you can move it slightly 
um, to suit what you want. Uh, but just be careful with it. Um, it does look really kind of impressive. Damn, this lens is really blurring it out. Um, but it does look kind of impressive. This, I kind of think it would be better if it was kind of stronger. But just like that, it's just like, yeah. Um, but yeah, that sort of piece really adds it. I'm really liking it. The fact is that I've just not put his hand back on. But it kind of gives a lot of life to the character and kind of really makes it stand out. So adding on the last sort of effects is you have these and these look really, really cool. Uh, even with the hand blasters there and there, you have different sizes and you can do, if you want, different ones. Um, I kind of think these are really cool. Um, I hope I've not got them uh, the wrong way because the instructions say something completely different. But it does kind of give an extra kind of bit of life to the figure if you want him flying about or if you want him shooting like the kind of like bolts or repulsor blasts from his hand. And there is Iron Man. I've got to admit, this is one of the best Iron Man figures. Um, I love the possibility. I love the blurriness I'm doing at the moment on the camera, but I love the kind of like weapon that you get with him. Um, I just think this is a absolutely amazing sort of figure. Uh, this really kind of stands out. Um, I generally would recommend it to anyone um, that is picking this up in the infinity range. Um, the only thing I would kind of say I'm not happy about is just the kind of the plastic and the way that if your hands are a little bit sweaty or kind of hot, um, when you touch the plastic, it feels kind of a bit like eh to it. But it generally is a really, really nice figure. Um, it's one I highly recommend putting in um, to actually having um, and definitely worth collecting. So far since Captain America, the figure arts have been spectacular. Um, we have Thanos coming up at some point when he is delivered. Um, it could be in the next week or so, or possibly when you're watching this. Um, either way, this it's going to be very interesting to see how that one is, is going to feel. Um, but I would highly recommend getting this. So Rangers, your question of the day is, what do you think about this fig arts? Do you, would you collect him? Would you not? Um, what are your thoughts on him? Let me know down below in the comments. And if you've liked this video, like, favorite, comment, and consider subscribing. Check out all the other videos on the channel. If you want to help the channel on Patreon, Link is in the description down below. And as always, Rangers, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a bit.